And print of the post for this afternoon's second race, the final of the Hubidia, trot one mile, a purse of $12,000, second half of the early double, exact to trifecta wagering, a field of seven, no changes. The one is Letter Rumble, owned by Jim John Lindgacker Jr. of Grable, Indiana, trained by Jonathan Crow with Bob Harper. The two is Classic Toy, and with the Silver Linden Farms of Woodburn, Indiana, trained by Danny Collins, Sandy Beatty. The three is B. Kicken, owned by Millard of Woodstock, Ontario, Canada, McGuire of Ingersoll, Ontario, Canada, trained by the Big T, Terry, Tim Holton, Dick Richardson, Jr. drives. The four is Wallaby, Wannabe, owned by Charles Weaver of Pinehurst, North Carolina, trained by William Emerson, Dave Myers. Number five, Sizzling Kimberly, owned in partnership by Midland Acres Incorporated of Ohio and Brumwell of Trenton, New Jersey, trained by Dan Ader, Cowater the pilot. The six is Raphael, owned by Martin of Circleville, Ohio, and Mogan of Lockbourne, Ohio, tra trained by Scott Mogan with Chip Noble. And for the outside of the seven, Sterling Bridge, owned by the Sterling Brook Farms Incorporated of Sheldonville, Massachusetts, trained by Jim Artledge Jr., Dallas Miller, and the Sulky. There they go. Break the three, be kicking before the start. Field in motion. They're all fan trotting and firing out of their middle of the track. There goes the five sizzling. Kimberly headed out for command here. From the rail, let her rumble. Up on the outside, Raphael. Three wide to join the fray there. Sterling Bridge is marching on. Away in fifth, classic toy. Six to the pylons, Wallaby, Wannabe. And seventh and trailing the field and back down trotting here. That's B kicking as they trot around the first turn and over to the initial quarter. Up on the outside here looking to take the lead. That is Raphael sizzling. Kimberly on the inside of the opening quarter came and went in 30 seconds flat. On by the stands for the first time and heading on down to the half. And Raphael and Chip Noble is clearing to the point here. Sizzling Kimberly is yielding for that garden spot in two. Got to the outside in third. That is Sterling Bridge. Fourth, that is Letter Rumble. Fifth is Classic Toy. Followed in sixth by Wallaby. Wannabe in seventh and trail and beat kicking as they step around the clubhouse turn in front of the panic and on over to the half. Up top here from the inside. Raphael is giving the cold shoulder to the outside to Sterling Bridge. And now Sterling Bridge is looking to trot on right on by through a half and 59 and four a second quarter of 29 and four fifths off the turn and driving down the back side a new leader up top sterling bridge with a lead into the inside Raphael is trotting in two move to the outside in third sizzling kimberly second over the outside in four that is classic toy off stride in five let letter rumble off stride in six went the four wallaby wannabe and seventh and trailing b kicking uh, they're trotting towards three quarters on top from the inside sterling bridge to the outside sizzling kimberly three quarters and one 29 and three fifths they'll trot the final turn and head for home up top sterling bridge with a lead here to the outside trotting in second now that is sizzling kimberly and sizzling kimberly has looked the leader in the eye ready to be sent three highest classic toy to the top of power alley less than an eighth of a mile to go and down the stretch they come in the hugh Beatty on top of the field sizzling kimberly and to the outside classic toy is coming at her and coming on as they come to the wire classic toy and sandy Beatty is going to win the Hugh Beatty here this afternoon. Finishing second is the five sizzling Kimberly. Third is the six Raphael with a time of the mile. Two minutes and four fifths. Classic toy and a first career victory. The second race, the Hugh Beatty final for two-year-old trotters timed in two minutes and four fifths. A first career victory here for the two, Classic Toy. A two-year-old Bay Philly by Malabar Man out of an Arnie Almahurst mare, Nina Toy Eaton, owned by the Silver Linden Farms of Woodburn, in Indiana, trained by Danny Collins. Nicely handled here for this afternoon by winning driver, Hugh Sandy Beatty. In the winner's circle to make the trophy presentation, we have the winners here. Of course, the winning driver, Sandy Beatty, the son of the late Hugh Beatty, along with Betty Beatty. And a special salute to that special someone out east serving our country as he's watching live from Dover Downs, Adam Beatty. With a two classic toy in two minutes and four fifths, her first career victory comes to win the Hugh Beatty final.